Now let's look at using raw files in Affinity Photo from Apple Photos. And what I'll do is follow this first slideshow by a video taken from Apple Photos on the desktop. The two things behave differently, desktop and iPad. And although this first film is on iPad, um, the principles remain the same. Apple's Photos supports most RAW formats from most cameras. Its default display mode is JPG, however. What that means is whether you load RAW or JPG or both photographs into Apple Photos, the display on the screen by default is JPG. And if you're in recent photos, for example, um, it doesn't display it in all sections but in recent photos on Apple photos you'll certainly you'll see a J or an R in the top left hand corner of the image signifying JPEG or RAW file. Now it will only put the RAW file um, logo there um, icon there if you actually switch the file from JPG to RAW and I'll show you how to do that shortly. When you're shooting in RAW, you can import your photos into Apple's Photo app as normal. If you shoot in both RAW and JPEG, any camera that can shoot in RAW allows you to do this. Photos detects the two photos together and imports them as a pair and displays the photos with a small icon in the top corner as a thumbnail. Photos picks the JPEG as the main photo and the icon shows the letter J. Now it does this by default. It will however display a RAW file using its own converted file format of JPG. So even if you only shoot in RAW, if you load it into photos, it will still show sorry, a JPEG in that square. It will convert, not destructively convert, but non-destructively convert um, an image or a thumbnail to display on its own display. You have to tell it which version you want as the master. And you do this later. You can edit the raw photo and use it as the main photo. Now to do this, and I'll show you this on photos in a moment. To do this, select the photo and press return to enter edit mode. You don't double click on it or anything, just hide, just select it so it's got the blue band around it and then press return. As part of the information that Photos has about this picture, it says which format it's in when you're on the desktop, but not on an iPad or an iPhone. And we have a way around this with Affinity Photo because when you, so, when you go to Photos, if you have a raw file, Affinity very nicely puts the word RAW as a little icon on each photo. Affinity Photo shows you the RAW image when using the iPad, not when using the desktop. Now, in Photos, to switch to the RAW file, you choose Image, Use RAW as Original, and I'll show you this in a moment, or right-click on the photo and choose RAW, Use RAW as Original. When you do this, you may notice that the photo changes a bit. Um, and of course it will do because you're displaying a raw file. So in summary, for this first opening, when on the desktop, using Apple Photos, ensure you switch the main image to a raw image as described. Then right click on it and edit with Affinity Photo. Affinity will then tell you it's a raw file. And again, I'll show you that in a minute. When on the iPad, start a new file by selecting the Photos option, navigate to your images, and your RAW files will be marked with the RAW word in the corner. Other file types have no indication. Now I'll show you that now. Where's Affinity Photo? We'll open Affinity Photo. This just takes a moment to start up. Initializing, dum de dum de dum I should have already had this open, shouldn't I? 1.8.3, now we want to start a new file, 
from import from photos, which is that one there. Now, recents, let's go and have a look at recents, and you can see the recents, they've all got the word, the ones that are a raw file, all have the word raw in the bottom right hand corner. Are there any that don't? There shouldn't be too many. There are images I'm working on there. They're not raw files, obviously. Now, there's a couple of images that don't have the word raw on them because they're not raw files. I've taken those with the iPhone's normal camera. The ones beside it on the on that side... Oh, now it's going to open it. <laughs> That's too quick for me. They were taken with the iPhone but with halide. You can see up the top there, top left-hand side, it says it's a raw image. iPhone 11, the back camera... Um, and all the all the uh, metadata that's there. Now, I've taken those on the iPhone, which doesn't normally shoot in raw mode, but I used the program, the app called Halide. Um, it's very good. It, it does raw photos. Probably others do too, but there you go. Okay, now I'll just back out of that. No, I won't. Touch it again. There we go. Back to there, back to there, and there's all... See, the neon light is not a raw image, so it doesn't have the, the little icon there. Okay, that's all we need to do for that. Now, here we are on Apple Photos on the desktop, and I wanted to show you these images. Very mm. similar. Well, you should recognise them from the iPad photos I showed you, but as you can see here... Each one, apart from ones that have been generated, that's actually a video. There's the J for JPEG and so on. There, and now these ones with the R on them, even though they might be raw files, Apple Photos won't display them in their raw mode by default. It defaults to J. Now, you can see there's a double icon there. One's just hiding behind the other. That's the raw file. How do we do this? We can select that, and you can see over the right-hand side there, info's just popped up, taken on the Panasonic, and it's a JPEG file. Now, if I right-click on this image, use raw as original. Let's convert it to raw. It takes a moment switching raw JPEG masters because it's got to do this in its um, photos library. This is why you can't do much with photos outside. If you're not in photos, you can't change things. Now, because it's a, it's a large image, it's switching raw and JPEG. It takes a moment. If you batch convert these, You've just got to walk away and leave it for a while because it does take a while. Now, while that's doing that, and it is taking an inordinate, inordinate amount of time. There we go. Now you can see it's an R. It's got the letter R there. It's the master is now a raw file back down to the info, and that's the raw image there. And there's another photo. Uh, there we are. Yes, that's the that's the video I've just done on the iPad, and iCloud has very nicely, on my behalf, gone and put it into photos. But you can see it's a video file, and I'll give it a title down there in a moment. We're not worried about that at the moment. But there's your raw file sitting there, next to JPEGs. You have to convert it. Now. When you want to edit one of these, you just click on the image like that, but don't double click on it, although it will come up. Double click, and there it is. But it's not in edit mode, it's just in display mode. And up in the top right hand corner, see up there, is RAW and JPEG. JPEG is original. Um, edit with, no, we don't want to edit with Affinity Photo yet. What we want to do is go back out of that. And it's back there. Use raw as original. No, we've done that. 
this one here edit with affinity photo let's edit with affinity photo because it's now a raw file now affinity photo will slowly start up and this of course is the focus of our exercise Infinity photos bobbing away in the background here. I probably should have had all this ready, but never mind. Here comes the Finity photo, 1.8.3. It's loaded. It's loading one document, and it's loading a raw file. Slowly, slowly. Hmm, the whole system's a bit slow this morning, isn't it? Well, we'll just have to wait. And here it comes any moment now. There we go. There we have the file. Now, unlike the iPad, it doesn't tell you immediately that it's a raw image. Affinity photos, quit affinity photos. And we're back to that. It's certainly a raw image. Now, as we're not working with Apple Photos for this exercise, what I'm looking at is... Um, a, using affinity photos converting your images to raw images as we've got there and there and there i previously con converted and using those in affinity photo of course if you open it in apple there's your raw image now up here is info and there it is it tells you it's a raw image done and we'll quit out of that now when you start when you open your uh, raw file and I can show you this again let's go back to photos there's a raw file there edit with affinity photo and you can see it's a raw file the info the info says it's raw um, and we'll open it with Affinity Photos. Now, oddly enough, Affinity, there it is in Affinity Photo. Affinity converts it to a TIFF file. So when you're editing a raw file in Affinity Photo, you're actually editing in, a, in TIFF mode, which is, hmm, if you like, the same as raw file, only it calls it TIFF and not raw which means you can save it somewhere else and do what you like with it. So don't go looking for raw up there. Go looking for TIFF. If it's a JPEG that you're editing, that one there, edit with... See, it's use raw as original, but we're not doing that. Edit with... Come on, baby, come on. Edit with Affinity Photo. Very quick. And up there you'll see JPEG. So JPEG, TIFF, and TIFF. Think of TIFF as RAW. It's just a, just another name for it. Now we're not editing those. We're just stopping right there. Thank you very much for watching this little short exercise.